Hey guys, it's your boys for for Legacy here. I bring you guys some more gameplay of Battlefield Hardline. We're continuing with part 14, Sovereign Land. So you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy the gameplay. If you guys are new to my channel, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. Share a video with your friends and ask them to subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. I greatly appreciate it. Without further ado, guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy the gameplay. With Kai's phone in place, tracking the money to his destination should be relatively easy. Getting to it, not so much. Episode 8, Sovereign Land. Guys, let's do this. I'm excited to see what else happens throughout this story. And I'm excited to see what way it's going to end. If you guys are new to my channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. Notif notification bell, guys. I can nearly talk. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Let's do this. Episode 8, Sovereign Land. Let's do this. Previously on Hardline. What we have is a network of cops, military contractors, and border patrol. By paying us, you get access to that network. If we get this phone into one of those briefcases, we can track it. You want to steal Dawson's dirty money before it gets laundered. Sounds fun, actually, but you're on your own. Yeah, the whacked Kang might be an old friend of mine. <laughs> you get started? I figured you'd probably use a hand back here. Let's do this. I'm so excited. <laughs> hey, did you guys see the news? What, the Rourke thing? Apparently, you two caused three billion dollars worth of damage. The guy literally lives in a glass house. Oh yeah! You're gonna love this. Bam! What is that? Where Dawes is keeping his dirty money? Your little tracker scheme worked? Now right here, this is where Kai's phone wound up. Dawes' corporate HQ. I mean, the place is a beast. We're talking private elevators, blast-resistant windows. Wait, I know that building. That's right on Foster Key off mainland Miami. And this is a work order for a vault that was installed in the penthouse suite six months ago. Okay, tell me about it. Foot-thick steel door with a combination lock and magnetic seal. So we blow it open? Ah, the amount of explosives needed would level the building. So we don't blow it open. Or do we? Now, I used to hang with some folks that have an auto-dialer. It's like a safe-cracking robot. They called it the Brute. I mean, the thing is fast, man. It can power open any combination safe. Call him. Tell him we need to borrow it. I already did. We just need to pick it up. Sweet. We got the robot that can crack open a safe. Or a door. Or well, could open anything, even. Last chance diner. Long way to come for a safe cracker. You really used to live out here? Oh, yeah. I was a little screwy after the army, you know. Cracks are safe. A nice. Friend, so I hung around for a while. Don't ask, don't tell, huh? Oh, that's funny. What'd you do in the army? Intelligence analyst. But no skills to work, I see. <laughs> Look, you try getting a straight job with a dishonorable discharge on your record during a recession. It's a long story, man. I went AWOL. For how long? Technically, I'm still AWOL. <laughs> so what about you, man? What's your story? Oh, Marcus! Oh. You got a little fat. What? You got a little looking good. <laughs> I'm gross. If I wasn't covered in dust, I'd be like SPF 5800 out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. This is uh, uh, the friend I was telling you about. Hi, I'm Nick. Hello there, Mr. Nick. <laughs> So do you have the safe cracker thing or not? No, no, we have to go to the compound to pick it up. Oh, the compound. I, I thought you, you were gonna, um... Is your dad gonna be there? Oh my god, he's not mad at you anymore. Really? I mean, he's not gonna pop the champagne when he sees you, but... <laughs> so I guess we're gonna go pick it up then. Hey, do you guys mind driving? Sure, why not? Awesome! Let's do this. Drive to the compound. Straight to the compound. Same old. Local or offshore? Mostly offshore. Where am I going? Follow the road. I'll tell you when to turn. 
So are you like enjoying the work? I'm enjoying the money. So what do you do, Nick? I work with Boomer. Oh, a boy's up to no good. So exciting. <laughs> so how's your dad? He's still carrying a fucking gun. Marcus. The world is not your own personal diorama. He's over it. All right, I gotta know what happened with you two. Well, we can... Marcus and I were very much in love. Mm -hmm. My father didn't approve. Oh, I can give you one guess why. So when Marcus left the community, he tried to... Leave with you. ...kidnap me, my dad said, mm. which was so fucking romantic. But which kind of upset my dad, I guess? Show him your bracelet. Oh. GPS. So he always knows where I am. That's scary. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay, so where am I going here? I hope I'm going the right way. So your dad sounds intense. He was in SEAL Team 6. Oh, he was not in SEAL and Team 6. And due to problems with the socialist tyranny of the American government, he founded a community of like-minded patriots. Huh. Patriots. Are guys here armed? Totally armed. Oh, Nick, it's cool. I know these people. They're mostly hippies. Actually, all the hippies you knew are gone. What? Where'd they go? Just gone. Dirt road straight ahead, that's ours. Okay. Here we are. Drive to the compound, objective complete. <coughs> well, well. Marcus Boone, the prodigal, etc. <laughs> hey, Mr. Albert, thanks for seeing us. That's uh, the least I can do. And you must be Nick? Boomer says you got a machine that can brute force any combination lock. Well, certainly can, Nick. You just gotta give it a little time. Nick Mendoza, right? Oh, hey, look at that. Shit just got real. My dad kind of monitors my calls. Yeah, a lot of people want to talk to you, Mendoza. Including a fella from L.A. named Stoddard. Say he'd pay 250 grand you alive. He's coming here right now. Sorry, Marcus. Boys, what do you say we escort Mr. Mendoza and Marcus down to the presidential suite? Wait, you said just Nick. <laughs> Marcus isn't welcome here. He never was. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Oh, peel her off this asshole before I puke. <laughs> Oh, and Marcus, just so we're clear, race is not a factor here. My dislike of you is strictly personal. Damn, bro. That's crazy, guys. That's damn crazy. Peace. I have relatively good news. Really? Where'd you get that? Dune gave it to me when she hugged me. Dune? Who just set us up? Dune? Who set you up? She's, uh... She's actually really good people. Oh, sure. Okay. Stay behind me. Okay, escape the silo. We gotta escape the silo. We out of here. Ain't no argument here. What the hell is this place anyway? Missile silo. Decommissioned early nineties. Just parked down here. Please tell me Alfred doesn't have a nuke. Don't have a nuke. Whoa. I don't know which way to go, I'm just having a look around. To launcher 3. Okay, this way. Follow the rats, I think. I'm going to go check down here first. Huh. 
How's it going, buddy? Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. I think that's the key. We got a gun. Let's find that escape hatch. We gotta make these bullets count, guys. There's a guy here on the left. Wait here. Keep your hands off. How do you guys like it? The thing is, I don't know which one, which way is the right way to go. I don't want to go away. Then next one, get back tracked. Oh, look at this room. Okay, I guess we gotta go this way. Never liked that Marcus kid anyway. Little fucking know it all. Can't believe you guys used to let scumbags like that live around here. Shit, we had them Mexicans, hippies, some fucking dude. I don't know what he was. Oh, we got a shotgun. He took over. He changed the whole scene. Hold it. Don't you move. Who's this guy? Get him. <laughs> Wait, what? That's crazy. I honestly thought that was Juggernaut Machine <laughs> from Call of Duty. <laughs> Reminded me of it. From the zombies. Come on, take it. Hey, one of these idiots had my scanner. Well, I got the scanner back. There's a ladder. That's our way out. Yeah. Come on. I skip the silo. Objective complete. Whoa. Look at the right. view, guys. We need to get our gear back. What? Are you nuts? Let's just get out of here. Look, if Stada gets his hands on it, he'll trace it right back to Kai and Tyson. Okay, we can't risk that. Shit. All right, so how you want to take this, man? There's a lot of Alpert's dudes down there. Uh, looks like there's a place to climb in on the left. Okay, or, or, or we could crawl under that fence over there on the right. Yeah, or we could take them head on. What? If you're up for okay, guys, smash the like button if you guys enjoyed. Man, you if you guys are new to my channel, hit that sub button. We greatly appreciate it. Hit that notification bell. Share a video with your friends and ask them to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Sotter Legacy, and I'm out.